these two colors together. It's called vanilla strawberry. Yes. The conical shaped blossoms. I had never seen this before. I didn't know it existed. This is our first presentation of the entire season. The easy pay goes away at the end of the day. And this, this can become a centerpiece of your yard. This can get six to seven feet in height. Indeed, and also the blossoms dry beautifully. I dry them okay. at the end of the season every year and bring them inside and enjoy them in flower arrangements. Also, think about these colors and think about the endless love collection of, day, of uh, true lilies that we've got coming mm -hmm. up, how nicely they mix. This is the most cold hardy of any hydrangea that is on the market. Got the beautiful blossoms. I was so mesmerized by this last year. Guess how many I planted on my back property? Uh, I know this number, like 30? 24. 24. I planted 24 I of this. these because I've got pine trees all around and I wanted something at the base of the pine trees so it didn't look so scary looking. And, and I gotta tell you, it, it's a beautiful plant. Now this is a full mature plant. Yes. Nice. The oh. Fragrance is perfect. You wanna know how it comes to you? Show them. Okay, and nothing that, little or dinky. Yeah, I was going to say that and is a big plant. This, and my friend, this quickly. And this, my friend, is the way that it arrives. You can see it's already heavily branched. And this is not like the mop heads, you know, the blues and the pinks that you often see. This is a hydrangea paniculata, the hardiest of the hardy. And this one branches well. It's much woodier than the others. I don't care how bad the winter is, these will always bloom. Always. In, in what areas of the country, Phil? They do need a frost. Okay. That's it. But that's, that's really the that's only it. governing rule. That's it. So you will not find this vanilla strawberry yes. hydrangea in most gardening centers anywhere in the continent of the United States. And you can plant these in the middle of your flower bed or in mass. People are buying multiples of these. And the reason that I bought 24 to go in the back yep. is from this next image. Right there. Look how they look when you got a whole bunch of them. You don't need anything else. And this is blooming all summer long, all the way into the fall. It gives you something tall that is colorful. If you've got white fences or a white house, oh my gosh, incredible. Also against those green hedges that if you've blocked your neighbors out with, put something pretty in front of it so it's not uh, just so utilitarian looking. Um, but underneath tall trees, it's great. If you've got dapple shade or just morning sun, mm -hmm. it'll sparkle that area and so much of our gardens are green yes and green is a great color but you've got to spruce it up a little bit these are also heavily deer resistant correct yes which is and that's wonderful. why they're on the back part of my property oh that's not a bad idea I'm, keep I'm the deer out bambi and, and all the relatives are there <laughs> and i'm not a big fan but i don't fight with them i plant the things that they don't like to eat that's they good. have never bothered my uh, vanilla strawberry you know why it's too pretty to eat i like that that's what i think uh, I can also see this as something that would easily draw butterflies too. Yeah, you'll have butterflies. You'll also have a backdrop for all of your other flowers. Okay. That's what I like. You know, a lot of people just plant evergreens as a backdrop. Why not have something that is blooming? That pops. That you don't have to mess around with. And, this and, is just going to do the trick for you. And if you love big, Look yeah. how big these blooms are. Yeah, the blooms get enormous. It's some of the largest blooms I've ever seen on hydrangeas. And this is a great look that you can have in your garden for years and years to come. It's the longest lived of any of the hydrangea shrubs that we offer. The okay. paniculata varieties are. They live longer than the mop heads. They're hardier. They're much hardier, and so they grow in, in all the par coldest parts of the country. You can expect big things out of these. They deliver, and they, these also are drought tolerant where the other ones are not. Okay. And that's uh, what I love still about an, it. An acid loving plant. It's still an acid loving so plant. So we're talking so about your acid, you know, bloom booster. That's correct, yes. Normally, the, the acid content of the soil is what controls what color a hydrangea becomes. These will, These always, will always be, be this strawberry color. Strawberry vanilla. Right. You'll always have this. This is not going to turn to, to, you know, blue. Uh, roasted pecan ice cream. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, that's, to me, that's the excitement. And this is, again, something, and you're going to hear this throughout the hour. It's about 15 minutes after 8 a.m. out here on the East Coast. What Philip does extraordinarily well. Uh, a gifted and talented man that, that has really risen to the top of your profession in landscape design but and in garden it. design. 
I just love it, but I have to tell you, my degree is in horticulture, so all my garden designs are driven by the plants. Anytime I see a new plant like this one, yep. it sparks my uh, creativity, and I want to use it for my clients. I did a long border for one of my clients in Greenwich, Connecticut in the fall, and she's been really nice to me. She, she took me to Las Vegas, and we got together with Brenda Lee out there, which was nice. a lot of fun, and it was a sweet trip, so I put in a border for her as a thank you gift. And it'll be there long after that bouquet that. of flowers that you sent has disappeared. This is what you're going to have in your garden. It's all summer long. This kind of look, it's got a nice tidy habit. It hasn't been trimmed to, to look like this. This is just what it does. Yep. Behaves beautifully. And well behaved plants are a big factor. Uh, Philip is helping me on our farm. Uh, we landscaped three years ago. And, and the wife wanted to, to do it right. We thought we had. We are now into our third season and things have become so overgrown right. that things that I paid for have to be torn out. Well, and that's the thing, is that you want to get things that are going to be the right size. Things that are manageable. And, yep. you know, and just for the ordering from me or just going to the nursery, at least read the tags that are in the pots so you know if you're getting in trouble from the get-go. This, this, over 600 have been ordered. Now, about how old is this one? Because again, um, it'll stop growth at about six, six this, and a half This feet. one is three years old. Three years old, this okay. This is three years old. But again, I'm gonna show you, because some of you are just tuning in, what I'm shipping out. This is already a heavily branched shrub. This is what I'm shipping out to you. This is going to bloom this year. Don't worry about that. It's gonna bloom. They're guaranteed for an entire year. And if you've already got hydrangeas, this will be your favorite Absolutely. of the ones that you have. Well, part of it is everybody knows the blue or that soft pink, but they yeah. do kind of look washed out. This, this is a beautiful blend. And you're gonna see some really interesting combinations coming up in this hour. Plants I'm again that you think that you think you knew, but with Phillips Touch, it changes it. This is part of our today's special value. Look. This is one of the lily varieties. Look at it next to this. This is part of the Endless Love Collection. How gorgeous is that? This couldn't have been designed better. Mother Nature was on her point that day. <laughs> nice. Gosh. Uh, that'll be coming up. We'll do yes. that at the end of the program. Uh, we've never done a full garden of lilies before. That's 18 plants for a price that is extraordinarily reasonable. This is, again, this is a backdrop. This is gonna be a little bigger than some. Yes. So do you put it in the farther regions of a garden or like what you did in, in the back part of, well, of your I, property? I like mine unto themselves, like where I had them back against my privacy screen. Okay. I don't have anything else there but these because these are blooming all summer long. There's no need to junk it up with other things. Okay. But you can also plant these in the center of a flower bed and do everything around work it. around it. Say okay. if you've got, this is in the middle of the bed and you did the Endless Love Lily Collection all the way around it. These are coming back every year yep. and you've got everything all in one space. In fact, for a drive circle, if you have one of those, this can be in the middle, the lilies all around it. That's not a bad idea. That's that becomes a statement piece then. It absolutely is, and no, nobody else will have anything remotely like it. It'll just carry on. And it's, you'll, you'll have neighbors say things like, you know, it looks kind of like a hydrangea. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you're we're not right. used to seeing this type of colorization. <laughs> and the beautiful candles, it's like the snow-capped peaks of pink. That is a, just an incredible look. The conical blossoms, and unlike regular hydrangeas, these will take drought once they've gotten established. Okay. The deer will not touch these, and I have got some of these hydrangea paniculatas, not this particular variety, but the regular white ones. They've been in gardens in Greenwich, Connecticut for 70, 80 years. That's beautiful. I mean, they're very long lived, so if you wanna be one and done, this is a way to do it beautifully. It's investment gardening without the big investment price. Yes. They look like cotton candy. They, they do. That's spectacular. But I and do have, have all these dried. This year, what you're seeing again, this is, and we have to put them in pots because we have to move things around. Right. This is a three-year-old plant. The plant that Philip will ship to you, and he'll ship it to you at the appropriate time for planting in the ground in your, your neighborhood. That will bloom this year. This will bloom this year, and as you can see already, it's heavily branched. It's not a whip. The regular hydrangeas have got the big wide leaf. Yes. These are smaller leaves, they're drought tolerant. The deer do not eat these and they're gonna bloom their heads off. It doesn't matter how bad the winter was, these will always bloom. If you love tropical, 
and you love the look of hibiscus. Coming up next is something that I think is, again, what Philip and his team do better than anyone else in the world. We're gonna show you hibiscus with a twist. Now, because hydrangeas are acid loving, it is a different booster. And this is the bud and flower booster for your acid loving plant. Yes. Customer top rated, $30 is your price tag. It's a 2177 configuration. 40 gallons worth of that. You can also use that on your azaleas and rhododendrons and blueberries. Our today's special value, we, we haven't even really talked about it in this program and already it's been popular. We'll discuss this coming up in about 15 minutes. What Philip does, again, for his very high-end clientele is design full gardens. So, for the first time, he's doing that for us at a price of under $40. It's the 